Hello folks, Jared here and welcome to the long-awaited Racing Rivals Nissan Silvia S15 car build-up. So here we have it and um, it has a battery kit on it. It came uh, like that, so yeah, actually like that front bumper kind of reminds me of the Evo bumper, like the one I like, the R spec. I don't know, but basically like all the Turf Silvias, as of saying this, have a body kit on them. I'm just waiting for them to like release a normal looking Sevilla without the body kit, but you know, uh, as you guys can see, you cannot change anything on it, so let's see. Um, any, everything else on this car is stock except the rims, which I did change because it, it came like this when I got it, and um, I don't know, just like, I guess you can j might as well just put your uh, budget wheels on it, you know, to make it look uh, a bit nicer. So here we are, the car is completely stock, and in this episode we're going to be upgrading it to stage 1. So let's start off. Um, I guess. Don't even have to say anything else about this car. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. Uh, I guess I should add that uh, the value of these cars has actually risen quite rapidly in the past month or so. Uh, they were less than a mil when they originally came out, but now I saw them sell for uh, two mil stock. So it's quite interesting. But I will be keeping this one because you know it is a build-up car, and uh, let's start upgrading it, shall we? It is a B-class car. I think it's not as fast as the Evo. Uh, but we will see about that. So it is I think it's B-class so Upgrade shouldn't take too long uh, as you guys can see like six minutes um, Nothing too special <clears throat> Basically, it's not a D-class, so you know it still will take a while to uh, Max it, but I don't know. It's not it's not like other class It wants to take multiple days like it did with the GTR limited So let's see Okay, that one's gonna take 10 minutes, but anyway, we're gonna be taking the car out um, on uh, a ride before it it gets upgraded, even though I did upgrade the rims uh, already, but you know, whatever. So let's see, let's put this there, because I can, here we go, alright, cam gear, I, right now I don't have to worry about the tune all that much, because, um, well, I mean, you basically have to upgrade everything to stage one. Well, not everything. Uh, not that. Uh, what is it? I'm not sure, but it's a part uh, here in the freaking. Um, it's the axle slash drive shaft thing. That thing's useless. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, the car came stock with a turbo, which is nice. That means I won't have to put one on uh, on it as I had to do with the GTR Limited. But on the other hand. Uh, this car really cannot be compared to that one because like that one took um, basically it took over a mil to um, to upgrade from stage 2 to stage 3 so oh holy shit that's that's like um, I'm assuming that it's gonna take uh, around as much as a, a to max this thing as an Evo so that's around 250k I would say um, and that's that's all right I mean Plus, it won't take multiple weeks to save up for the money, so that's really nice. So this um, car should be uh, built up fairly soon. I don't think we are gonna need four episodes, so let's just check on this. Yeah, let's wait. Okay. Mm. So I think this is gonna be a three-parter, maybe four, who knows. Uh, so let's see, just put this on it. NOS, yeah, I'm gonna be putting NOS on it, because I'm keeping this one, and I don't care about the NOS. Plus, I won't have a turf to on this one, so we're gonna be putting that NOS on it. Here you go. Uh, it's gonna, okay, I'm just gonna speed this one up. Even though it's gonna be stage 2 after that, so. Uh, it's gonna take for, okay, I'm just gonna freaking finish these. Um, and I would just, I guess I won't use NOS um, while. Uh, Racing because uh, that would make it stuck. Actually, um, I mean, like, no, I'm just gonna run it with tires now. I won't use NOS because, you know, um, I'm not supposed to. Because, you know, first of all, we were, we were supposed to show how fast it goes stock. So let's see. Uh, let's um, check out the suspension. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be one of those ones where it looks really weird, isn't it? Uh, I think we might need to resize the tires after that. Mm. Oh god, that looks silly. 17. Oh boy. 
No, it definitely looks uh, the best um, like this. No, it actually looks the best like this in my opinion. Like, um, but it it does add weight, so I guess I'm gonna have to sell for this one. But I'm not going on this one because this one is just way too silly. Like, I don't like the way the and the car looks like that. It's so low. Uh, how did I? No, hold on. No, it's not. I guess I can sacrifice uh, my, um, I don't know, freaking uh, preferred uh, looks for uh, some speed. So let's find a bot. Let's see how fast it goes. I completely forgot what the drop launch is. I knew that I erased it um, in a previous. Uh, well, in the final GTR part, I think I erased it. Let's. What the hell was that? Let's try. Okay, this is. Holy shit. What? The hell? Also. Okay, I got really confused there for a second. <laughs> I never saw anything like this. Plus, I pressed the nose button. Uh, so sorry about that, but. Wait a second. This car doesn't. You cannot perform a drop launch on this car from what I have just seen. What? That's something new. So let's see. Um, sage here. Sage. Let's see. Does this shit happen again? Oh my god, it does. Holy shit, that's interesting. Holy shit, that's so. That's so freaking uh, weird. Like. I, I thought that the Hellcat was weird because you uh, you couldn't late shift it, but what? <laughs> That's so interesting. Okay, let's uh, let's actually try to have a nice run with no nos as uh, as as I have said. Um, let's see, close that down. Here you go. All right. I messed up a gear there, but... Wow. And the thing is, before I... Um, I think it was really... No, no, I think it was like... No, no, I know that in the GTR Limited uh, build that it was... No, it wasn't like this, because I would have noticed that, but... Wow, that's, that's crazy. Okay, so we're back. So this I bought a couple more times. What's up with that? Like, I didn't even think that that was possible. It's interesting, at least. Let's try to uh, get perfect shifts. It's like this is. I I think that this is like one of. This is the first car ever where you cannot drop launch. It's like, what? That's that's freaking. Oh yeah, also I can just casually see that uh, the upgrades are finishing on it. Um, so that's something I guess, let's go back. So you still have 19 upgrades left. Let's take a look, how long will it take? Uh, 3 minutes. Uh, yeah, 3 minutes. Holy shit though, like, this is crazy. I guess that while we're waiting, um, and then we're gonna, you know, test out stage 1. Um, but. I know that FCX suggested that we should put a 50k uh, blue on it and uh, find some uh, nice um, rims like the one um, the, they're similar to the ones that I had on my GTR Limited except that um, the color is not a uh, turquoise or whatever but it's uh, like um, it's like blue on the outline so wow actually really love the paint on this one I mean, you cannot put mate paint on it, but I think that this is like the second best option. Even though I was thinking about putting a, uh, like a crazier color combo on it uh, to, you know, make it stand out. Maybe like this one or something, uh, which I know is an odd choice, but like it's a crazy car. Um, I think that, you know, we should put something more, uh, I don't know, interesting on it. Uh, not necessarily um, something that appeals to everybody. Like, no. Yeah, like, I think that the blue is a seriously good option, though. Maybe yellow. 
yellow is pretty nice. And then like lips, eh, let's let's call it uh, dark pink. Actually, I really like this color though. I have no clue why. Oh boy. Okay. So we have that, and then for the rims, I guess I can might as well just check out what we have here. I uh, um, okay, I unboxed a couple, uh, and uh, these ones. If like I had pink color, and these, no, I freaking hated this, and it's like I don't like them at all. So, no, th these ones are not going on it. Um, and you cannot put these ones on it because it changed to an uh, to a random evil. Okay. It's weird. Um, the GTF. Oh yeah, I can put this one, these ones on. Uh, but I'm not a huge fan of glow rims. Like, hmm. I love how the on the icon uh, it looks like it's outlined, but uh, on the PC version it's not because uh, I don't know racing levels. And then this ones. Oh, my game crashed. That's that cannot be good. Um, okay. So I hope that didn't crash the that did not crash the recording because that would suck. But I don't think it did because it didn't show it crashing. So it should be fine. Uh, but basically, yeah, racing rules in a nutshell. Uh, crashes at random times while you're trying to upgrade your car happened a lot of times. So, ah, whatever. Come on. So. How long will this take? Is the game down or something? Alright, so um, it completely crashed my game, had to restart it, but whatever, I'm just gonna add it to that shit together, so sorry about that. Uh, but the car should be fully upgraded now, so let's check some random parts to see if it is. Is it stage 1? Like, completely should be, except the Nitrous is stage 2, but you know, whatever. Um, so, alright, well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's test it out, and, uh, hopefully the, the game won't crash again, because that would not be amazing, obviously. So, let's see. Mm. Uh, we're in a Sylvia, and he throws me into an evil lobby. Not, uh, not a Maxton, though, so I guess that's fine. Have some bots here. This is not a bot. This is not a bot. This is a bot. Hello, miss me. So let's see. Did the crazy um, drop launch thing go away? It's dead. Okay. Okay, it went away. So I guess that the game kind of got cheeky uh, there and forced me to crash so it could, you know, fix it or whatever. Um, I guess that's what happened. I'm assuming anyway. Let's see. <sighs> Bad run. That, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you for that, ghost. Now I freaking want a top uh, 25 one, but, uh, ugh. The game's connecting, please don't crash, here we go. So, Battle of the Sylvie, yes. And mine is stage 1, so we're probably gonna lose, plus I don't really know how to drop launch it. Fuck, that was close. Ugh. The rat, uh, I'm not sure what the theme of the rat one is, though. Um, kind of curious about that, because, like, I'm not even sure what uh, city uh, the event was at. Because hmm, it doesn't say. It is a cool wrap though, I like it. Mm, I guess that the max then is 1659, because I, I think that this one's maxed. Um, got an nice reaction time though. So thank you for uh, the ghost for the cameo. Let's uh, race a bot now, because I'm cheeky. Let's race. Uh, let's try mid second light, I think that that should work out well. Yeah, not necessarily with an amazing reaction time, but whatever, it works. Can we get a 10 second run? Ooh, maybe, just maybe. Uh, keep in mind that the, these runs were not boosted. Okay, we cannot. If I had uh, a better reaction time, I could potentially, but that didn't happen, sadly. Um, but yeah, like, uh, yeah. I would like you guys, actually. 
uh, to go ahead and type down your uh, ideas for the visual parts of the Sylvia. So what should I do with this? Like what color, uh, which rims, uh, let me know. And uh, my name is Jerry, thank you for watching and uh, bye.